Hello Aquarius, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? Alright, Aquarius. So we do have the Page of Wands, we also have the Four of Wands, and then we also have the Sun. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups, we also have the Hermit, and then we also have the Empress with the Queen of Pentacles, and then we also have the um, Queen of Wands. Okay, so Ari, in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, Okay, so this is kind of like a weird message. I've never, I've never actually gotten this message like this before in a reading, uh, but just roll with me for a second, okay? Um, there, there's somebody, Aquarius. Um, how do I explain this? There's someone here that's becoming aware of your relationship. Um, with someone is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Now, whoever this someone is that's becoming aware of this relationship that you currently find yourself in, it's not somebody who knows you personally, it's somebody who knows your person personally, if that makes absolutely any sense. Okay, um, at the bottom of the deck, we also have the uh, chariot to the three of wands to the king of swords. So, whoever this person is. Like I said, it's somebody who knows your person personally. They just don't know you personally. Um, I do feel like currently at the moment, there's definitely a lot of distance um, between this person um, that's stumbling across you um, and the relationship you currently share with this person that they used to basically deal with, okay? is kind of what I'm getting, all right? I do believe, though, that this person in particular more than likely met this person that you currently find yourself connecting with way before you did is like the best way that that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here. But yeah, currently at the moment, um, as far as like this person that you currently find yourself connecting with is concerned um, and the person that somehow some way is stumbling across you um, and the relationship you currently have with this person that they used to deal with. Um, there's a lot of lack of uh, communication between these two, but there's also a lot of distance here uh, between these two. I feel like this person is keeping their distance from the person you currently find yourself connecting with. But I also feel like the person that you currently find yourself connecting with is keeping their distance from whoever this person is. But there's an overall energy of like comparing going on here. Um, somehow, some way, this Queen of Wands is basically finding out um, about you, your existence, um, and your relationship with this person that they used to deal with. Don't ask me how this person's finding out, I guess, about you, um, but they're finding out about you somehow, some way. And like I said, there's this overall energy of them kind of like comparing themselves to you. It's like the best way that I can describe Um what it is that I'm seeing here, okay? Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands over here, okay? Um, they're, they're looking at you like you're 10 times better than them um, in some way, shape, or form, and they basically view it as something that's extremely unfair. In other words, you might be somebody who's far more established than they are, and they might think that that's extremely unfair, that you're far more successful, you're far more established than they are. Um, you might look better than this person, they might think that that's extremely unfair on top of that. Uh, but again, it's that energy of them comparing themselves to you. Um, is the best way that I can describe uh, what it is I'm seeing here. By the way, your person's actually showing up as an emperor, right? The person that sits in the chariot is the emperor. You're showing up as an empress, making it a true pair situation here between you and this individual. Uh, so you guys are very compatible to one another. You guys mesh very well with one another. But obviously, you can see right here that these two are not even showing up as a true pair to one another. These two are like oil and water. They just simply don't mix. They don't have anything in common with one another. Um these two are just like polar opposites is like the best way that I can describe um, what it is that I'm seeing here. Okay. But you and this person on the, on, on the other hand, that's, that's very, very different, right? Like you guys are very compatible to one another. You guys have a lot of things in common with one another. You guys mesh very well with one another. Um, so, you know, then there's that. But we have the Page of Wands, right? And the Page of Wands basically represents somebody who's on like the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. Again, I feel like this Queen of Wands is like receiving news somehow, some way um, that this person that they used to deal with, 
used to deal with, um, now currently finds themselves connecting with you, okay? Um, I do want to look at the Page of Wands a little bit more. Yeah, let me look at the Page of Wands. I don't even, yeah, let me just roll with it because I've never actually gotten a message like this come out in this manner. Um, so we're just going to roll with it. This is like the first time this is actually happening to me. So tell me more about the Page of Wands. Again, I feel like this Page of Wands is like this Queen of Wands' energy, okay? Um, ooh. <sighs> okay, Jesus. Well, needless to say, right? Needless to say, I don't feel like this Queen of Wands is too happy uh, with with what they're discovering here. I don't feel like they're, they're, they're too happy whatsoever. Um, I don't. I don't. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, though, to the Ten of Swords, um, I kind of feel like by this Queen of Wands finding this out, as far as, like, um, this king's involvement with you um as far as like them finding out about their relationship with you um i feel like it finally pushed this person to the point of no return is like the best way that i can describe it is that i'm seeing here now this also too is kind of telling me that these two have had a very on and off relationship with one another um it's like one day this king is in this queen of wands's life the next day they're basically gone um it's like the best way that i can describe these two's uh relationship with one another um i also kind of feel like these two were never really on the same page in other words i feel like this queen of wands wanted something far more serious with this king um and i just you know i just kind of feel like this king just really didn't see them having you know anything serious with them is kind of what i'm getting so right off the bat these two were definitely not um on the same page whatsoever somebody wanted something serious the other party basically didn't um it's, it's kind of what i'm getting but i feel like um because these two have had like a very on and off relationship with one another by them basically finding out now um that this person that they used to basically deal with currently finds themselves you know, involved with you and taking you seriously, um, it basically finally pushed them to the point of no return. Like this is them putting their foot down, like, you know, enough is enough. I'm not doing this with this person anymore. You know, it has that type of feel to it. Um, so then there's that. I also kind of feel like um, this Queen of Wands feels like the main reason why they've had such a rocky relationship with this person could have a lot to do with, with you. Um, so they might assume that you've been in the picture um, all this time. That's definitely a possibility. And maybe that's why they kind of feel, you know what I mean? Like um, their relationship was the way that it was um, because they wanted to actually be with you, not necessarily with them. Um, I'm going to ask one more time how you're currently viewing this relationship because I got to be honest, I'm barely picking up on you. I'm barely picking up on you. I, I'm mainly picking up on like this um, Queen of Wands' energy and how they're perceiving this entire situation. I just don't feel like you're the Queen of Wands wrapped up in all of this. You could be. That's a possibility. Um, I just don't feel like you're the Queen of Wands in all of this. I don't. I feel like you're this Queen of Pentacles slash Empress, Four of Cups, Hermit, like energy. I feel like that's your energy right now. Um, right now, um, you're kind of in this, you know, space where you just kind of want to like focus on you, remove all distractions out of your life, you know, things of that nature, just to kind of focus more so on yourself, things that you want to accomplish and achieve, you know, things of that nature. Uh, for some of you, and this is kind of like a weird download that I'm kind of getting, but for some of you, you might get easily distracted. Uh, so you might be like, um, you might be like uh, temporarily like um, removing like, you know, Instagram from your phone, Facebook off your phone. So that way you're just not getting distracted, right? Um, with what's going on in the world and, you know, things of that nature. Um, but how does Aquarius currently view this relationship? Let me see if I pick up on you. I, I'm still not picking up on you. Great. Okay. Um, I guess we have the ten of wands. We have the three of wands. We also have the uh, five of cups to the queen of cups. I see. I see. Again, more of that queen of wands energy, by the way. Okay, because I don't. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the queen of wands' energy really taking over your reading. Um, so Aquarius. I apologize, but I'm really not picking up on you. There, there's not really much that I can say about your energy at this moment besides what I already said. But. Um, it kind of looks like these two parted ways, okay? Um, 
And I feel like the main reason why this, this Queen of Wands hasn't heard from this king that you now currently find yourself connecting with has a lot to do with the fact that they're basically making you and this relationship that they share with you their main focus slash priority. Um, so they're not talking to this person whatsoever. Um, but if it's one thing that I will say is this, because these two have have had a very on and off relationship. There's this overall energy of them anticipating and expecting for their return, but it doesn't look like this king is resurfacing back up here for this queen of wands, uh, which is basically leading them to think, man, maybe this is really over between such and such and I. Um, and I feel like, to be honest, this is what led them to you. Okay. This is what led them to discover you. And, um, what this king has actually been up to is kind of what I'm getting. Um, and it's mainly because curiosity is sinking in for this queen. They're, they're kind of curious as to why this king hasn't resurfaced back up here for them, as to why this king hasn't called them, as to why this king hasn't run after them, as to why this king hasn't texted them. And so they're kind of going on a little bit of a scavenger hunt and they're doing some research, they're doing some digging. Um, and, and this is why they're kind of discovering everything that they're kind of discovering. I just don't know how this person's honestly, um, you know, finding out about you and, you know, this king's relationship to you, I don't really know. Uh, they could very well be, you know, stalking this person in particular um, on social media, and that's how they're basically finding out about you. That's definitely a possibility. Um, either which way, somehow, some way, uh, they are becoming aware of your existence and aware of, you know, this relationship that y'all got going on here uh, with one another is basically what I'm getting primarily, okay? Um, so then there's that, okay? All right, how does this person, let's see who shows up here to the right of me. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Emperor, and then we also have the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the Sun. The bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess. This king, um, they do come off to me as somebody who's very spiritually based, somebody who's very, very intuitive. There's a huge possibility that this person might be a water sign. They don't necessarily have to be a water sign, but they could be a Cancer, Scorpio, maybe even a Pisces. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but overall, this person is highly intuitive. Uh, they're very sensitive to energy. This is somebody who's very good at picking up on other people's energy, and they don't even have to be around that individual to pick up on that person, energetically speaking, right? So with that being said, there's an overall energy, um, of this king slash emperor right feeling like something's wrong like something's just not right uh the thing is is that they can't quite put their finger on why they feel the way that they feel as far as like feeling like oh i don't know man something's just not right i don't know what it is right uh they just can't put their finger on it is kind of what i'm i'm getting um off of this emperor's energy now with the sun coming out here the sun it does speak of happiness and joy and stuff like that but it also speaks of um illumination i feel like the only reason why we're getting the sun um out here is because they're trying to kind of like rationalize with themselves as to why they feel like something's terribly wrong right especially because you know on the surface everything appears to be a-okay with them and you know you um so their whole thing is, is that they just don't understand like why do they feel the way that they feel especially if everything on the surface appears to be a-okay why do they feel the way that they feel and the only reason why they're kind of feeling the way that they're feeling has a lot to do with the fact that they're kind of picking up on this queen of wands's energy uh they could feel their pain they could feel their disappointment um but the thing is is that they just don't know where this energy is coming from okay um but it's basically coming from the the queen of wands they're picking up on them energetically speaking all right how does this person currently feel okay we have the page of pentacles we have the uh, king of cups and then we also have the um seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we do have the queen of pentacles we also have the eight of pentacles to the nine of wands and then we also have the devil with the four of cups and then we also have the eight of swords <clears throat> and then we have the two of wands out here okay so these okay i was gonna say so these two are having issues within, within their relationship but sorry i had to correct myself you and this person are having um a little bit of issues i would say within your relationship with one another and it is um surrounding um 
it is surrounding trust okay um i do kind of feel like there is a lack of trust at play um but it's mainly coming from you it's not necessarily coming from your person it, it, it's it's coming from you um you don't really trust this person entirely aquarius from from the looks of it um and i feel like it has a lot to do with something that this person put you through in the past that you're having a very difficult time making peace with and moving you know past is like the best way that i can describe uh what it is that i'm seeing here because you're having a very difficult time moving past something that this person basically put you through um in the past at times it does kind of cause you to become very indecisive within your relationship with this person in other words you know at times it causes you to kind of question yourself as to why you're still even with this person and then there's there's times where you find yourself really wanting to be with this person, really wanting, you know, this relationship to work. So I kind of see you for the most part in this relationship, just experiencing a lot of inner conflict due to something that this person has put you through um, in the past is basically what I'm getting. Now, in regards to how your person um, is currently feeling, um, again, it's more of that energy of them trying to like rationalize with themselves in regards to why they feel like something's up or like something's not right. Um, again, on the surface everything appears to be a-okay between the two of you um so with, with that being said i just kind of feel like they're just kind of coming down to this conclusion that you know they're just overthinking things and you know they're just having a bad day whatever you want to call it um but again i just kind of felt the reason why they feel the way that they feel has a lot to do with this queen of wands um that they're picking up on energetically speaking they just don't know that that's just what it is okay back to I guess we'll see if, if we could pull on your energy. How does Aquarius feel? Okay, so we're still not picking up on you. All right, so we have the uh, King of Wands, we have the uh, Ten of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Two of Cups out here. Yeah, well, this Queen of Wands is really, really hurt by this person. That you currently find yourself connecting with they're really really hurt by this person they are they're really really hurt by them um and and what it is that they're basically discovering which is well um you know this person currently finds themselves you know romantically involved with you taking you in this relationship that they share with you seriously you know at the end of the day you know i just I just kind of feel like this Queen of Wands, um, how do I say this? I just kind of feel like this Queen of Wands, you know, is extremely hurt by the fact that here this king is, you know what I mean? Taking you um, and this relationship with you seriously and the treatment that they're currently giving you, they really didn't get that, you know, uh, from them. And it's causing them to kind of feel all sorts of different ways. And I'm going to be honest, I really do feel bad for this person, you know, because not only not only did they not get the treatment that they clearly see this king giving you but now they're starting to feel really insecure within themselves and that's why i kind of feel bad right for this person because they're kind of looking at you and they're thinking to themselves like oh like they look better than me and oh look they're more established than me and they make more money than me and, and that's why you know i didn't get that treatment from the king that's why that's why you know i i feel bad i really do feel bad um for this for this person but more of the story is is that they're just really really hurt right now by this king um and like i said it's like this discovery you know what i mean um of them basically finding out that this king is turning around and giving you the treatment they've always wanted from them um and that they're over here taking you seriously and they never you know ever once took them seriously it's a massive blow to the chest to say the least but uh you know, after them finding out that this person's, you know, now with you, um, like I said, I just, I just kind of feel like it kind of pushed that person, you know, to the point of no return. You know what I mean? Uh, to the point where it's like, now they're done with them. Now they don't want anything to do with them. Um, now they don't want to continue to involve themselves with them, you know? So, yeah. What actions? Let's, let me ask one more time. What actions will Aquarius take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. So we have the uh, Six of Cups. We got the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the um, 
Eight of Cups. Interesting. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, King of Swords. This Queen of Wands is under the impression, and I'm not saying that this is going to happen, by the way, um, but th this Queen of Wands is under the impression that it's only a matter of time before things go south between the two of you and they basically come running right back to them. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm basically seeing. Now, I'm not saying that this, that's going to happen or anything like that, um, but that's what this person feels is going to happen. That the moment things go left uh, between you and this person, this king is going to go running right back to this um, queen of wands. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, uh, but this queen genuinely feels like that's exactly uh, what's going to end up happening. What actions will this person take? All right, so we do have, oh wow, we do have the Magician, we got the Tower, and then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. I do want to clarify the Ace of Pentacles, because this Ace of Pentacles, it feels like, um, it feels like a surprise, but it also kind of feels like something tangible wrapped up in all of this, okay? Um, so there's a huge possibility, Aquarius, that this person could very well be buying you a gift very soon, something that they know that you're going to really, really like. But again, it feels like... Um, it feels like, yes, something tangible, but it feels like a surprise at the same exact time. Um, it's like the best way that I can describe uh, what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so we do have the Knight of Cups. We got the um, Hangman. And then we also have the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Whatever this thing is, um, whatever this tangible thing is, um, it, it's something that this person knows you're going to love, okay? It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. It's something that this person knows you actually want, and that could honestly be anything. Um, yeah, it could honestly be anything. Let me ask one more time, see what else I can get here. Tell me more about the um, Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Six of Wands. We have the Empress. <clears throat> And then we also have the lovers. So as far as like this tangible thing is concerned, I don't, I don't feel that confident enough to say that it's like a proposal or anything like that. So, you know, I, again, it, it's mainly because I didn't get the hair font out here. Um, and, and that's why I don't feel that confident enough to say that it's like a ring that this person's, you know, buying for you or anything like that. Um, like I said, I mean, it could be, but I don't feel confident enough to say all of that. Um, one thing that I will say is that whatever this tangible thing is that this person is, you know, purchasing for you, um, it has like a surprise component attached to it. So you're definitely not going to see all of this coming. It is going to definitely catch you by surprise. Um, but whatever this tangible thing is that this person is going to purchase you, it's obviously something that you're going to um, love. With the Six of Wands to the Lovers to the Empress coming out here, as far as like your relationship with this person is concerned, Aquarius, you know, I feel like you guys have a really good relationship with one another. You know, granted, listen, I'm pretty sure you guys have had your ups and downs with one another, um, but it kind of looks like you guys always manage to kind of find a way to overcome any moments of adversity that you guys tend to face within your relationship with one another. Um, you know, as far as like this trust issue that you have uh, with this person, um, I, I do kind of feel like it is going to take some time, you know, for you to fully trust, you know, this person all over again. But I feel like that's something that, um, the two of you are definitely working towards as far as like, you know, reestablishing trust with one another is concerned. Um, but as far as like this queen of wands is concerned, I gotta be honest. I, I just don't feel like you really have anything to worry about, to be completely honest. Um, what was this king's relationship to this queen of wands? Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to be, you know, um, a straight shooter about this. I'm not going to shitcoat this whatsoever, okay? Um, <clears throat> so as far as like this king's relationship to this queen of wands is concerned, um, I'm, I'm getting honestly a, a few things um, off, of, off of this king's energy in regards to how they viewed their relationship with this queen of wands and, you know, how they felt about their relationship um, with this, with this um, queen of wands. Um, 
So one thing that I am definitely getting um, is that they started to like instantly lose interest, I would say, um, in this Queen of Wands. You know, I feel like this Queen of Wands had a difficult time um, keeping this king's attention. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Um, I also kind of feel like they didn't necessarily like being around this person for like a long period of time. Um, it's kind of what I'm also getting um, on top of that. Um, not only that, but I feel like this person didn't really enjoy their conversations with this Queen of Wands either. Uh, like they would, like you know, when they would talk on the phone or they would text or even if when they're in person, like they didn't really enjoy the conversations that they had uh, with this Queen of Wands. More of the story is is that they just weren't that into them, and that's kind of what it all boils down to. Now, is there a possibility, especially for those of you who've had an on and off relationship with this person as well, is there a possibility, right, that this person was involved? Involving themselves with this uh, Queen of Wands during the time where the two of you weren't apart. That's a huge ass possibility, especially with this combo um, at the bottom of the deck. You know, there's a huge possibility that the only reason why they even gravitated towards this Queen of Wands to begin with could have a lot to do with the fact that maybe you guys broke up at some point um, and they just wanted a little bit of a distraction in their life so that way they're not sitting around at home crying over you and thinking about you and this ending that transpired here between the two of you. Um, you know, that's definitely you know, a possibility. Uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles that follows. So true pair situation yet again um, between you and this person. But, you know, more of the story is, is that I feel like this person's heart basically lies with you. You know, when when they think of you, they think long term, right? But when they think of this, 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 this Queen of Wands over here, you know, they just really don't see much with them. Like I said, they're just not that into them. You know what I mean? And it happens. It is what it is. But, um, I don't see this Queen of Wands, by the way, gravitating towards this king whatsoever. I don't. Um, I don't. Um, if anything, it kind of looks like these two are going to continue to keep their distance from one another. But like I said, this this Queen of Wands genuinely believes that, you know, the moment things go south here between you and this person, that they're just going to come running right back to them. And maybe that's that's because that's what they did. You know, every time things would go south here between you and them, they would go running, you know, right back to this Queen of Wands. But it's not stemming from a place of, oh, man, I want to be with this Queen of Wands. It's stemming from a place of, I need a distraction right now. So come over and hang out with me and let's talk on the phone and let's text each other back and forth. Like, it kind of mainly came from that place um it was not coming from a place of i want to be with this queen of wands definitely not um but yeah that's what i have for you aquarius hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye